Value added tax, or VAT for short, is the tax that's added onto the bill on certain goods and services when you sell to customers in the UK. If you're running your own business, you only have to register for VAT when your business's taxable income goes beyond a certain level, and this is known as the VAT threshold. This is calculated on your total turnover across any consecutive 12-month period. However, if you know you're going to make sales that'll take you over this limit in any 30-day period, then you need to register at that time. Incidentally, you should check this threshold after each budget, as this is when it tends to change. Reporter Sunita Shroff has been visiting an intriguing company in London who are already registered for VAT. Josephine Pickett-Baker and Nick Corker are famous for complete fabrication. But don't be getting the wrong idea, it's not that they make things up. Not stories, anyway. In fact, complete fabrication is the clever name they came up with some 18 years ago for their special effects model-making business. Amongst other things, they're the people who make chocolate bars look utterly irresistible on adverts. And amazingly, it's all done with super realistic oversized models. And sadly, not even a nibble of real chocolate in sight. We make models and bespoke furniture, chandeliers, huge range of things. And the most memorable moment of our business um, is probably when we finally started to make a profit um, after about three years of um, extremely long hours and hard work. Earlier today, I asked Josephine how she found it, dealing with the company's VAT. The VAT we charge on our work is the output tax, and the VAT that our suppliers charge us is the input tax. What is paid to the government is the output tax minus the input tax. HM Revenue and Customs collects this four times a year, and if we've paid more than we've charged, they refund the difference. It's as simple as that. Dealing with VAT in the standard way can be a bit time-consuming, so for smaller businesses, there are various different schemes to help simplify the process. For instance, you may wish to pay your VAT at a flat rate, or alternatively, you may choose to pay when your customers have paid you in order to help your cash flow. For more information on these various schemes, there's a useful online guide to choosing the right VAT scheme for your business. This is Sunita Shroff a slightly disappointed chocoholic, reporting from Deptford. Now, back to the studio. It's important to choose the right time to register for VAT, as it can sometimes be an advantage to do so, even if you haven't yet reached the registration threshold. A good example of this is if the majority of your suppliers are charging you VAT and you want to be able to claim this back from revenue and customs. Remember, though, registration is always compulsory once your taxable income reaches or exceeds the current year's threshold. If you want to talk to someone about your VAT, you can always call the helpline. Or for more detailed information, such as how to calculate taxable income, click on the link provided after this video. And finally, it's worth noting that over the next few years, revenue and customs will be changing the way you manage and pay various taxes. In many cases, this will mean the only way to send in returns will be online, and you'll have to make payments electronically. If you want to find out more about this, then follow the link to the relevant page on the Revenue and Customs website.